you guys so i'm back again with another video so i got a question from one of my subbies her name is kelsia b she asked can you talk more about working in the peds clinic i'm an lpn in mississippi got an offer for 17 dollars and she's a new graduate so congratulations on being a new grad she posted this comment on my video about nurse pay i will link it up above um, so go check that video out. So if you haven't seen my video about nurse pay, I just talk about how at um, the pediatric clinic, I made $20 when I would work there on Saturday, and then we would get overtime on Sunday, which was $30. So I'll just talk about my experience as a pediatric nurse. So I worked there back in May 2017. I ended up leaving the company in, in December of 2017 just because I thought I was about to go on a travel nurse assignment so I just wanted to get all of my ducks in a row but of course I didn't travel nurse. I love being a pediatric nurse in the clinic setting. I love kids you know when I was younger I worked at like a summer camp. I, would work at, I worked at a daycare during nursing school so I love kids. So I'll just walk you guys through like a typical day of working in a pediatric clinic. So I worked on the weekends only. I was a part-time employee. My shifts um, would be from 8.30 in the morning to 12 noon. Now sometimes when it, um, when it was cold and flu season, we would stay there till about 1 or 1.30 1 just because it's a ton of sick kids and they need to be seen. I had to be there by 8.30 and you know just to check the rooms make sure the rooms were stocked with gloves and everything that the doctors would need so we did that like around 8 30 so we would have patients that would get there maybe around 8 45 um 8 50 but clinic didn't officially start till 9. so once patients started arriving through our charting system the front desk would check them in and we would be able to see oh a patient has just made it so once I saw that a patient had arrived to the clinic, I would go to the front desk, um, pull their information sheet. I would call them back um, and I would get a weight on the child. Um, just because in sick clinic, all we really did were weights and temperatures. Unless something warranted like a blood pressure or um, we will always get pulse oxes on like the kids with asthma, the kids who will get nebulizer treatments. Most of the time, all we were doing were weights and temps during sick clinic. So I would have to weigh the child. Now let me say, it's very tricky when it comes to weighing children. Like the babies, some of the babies really didn't like being put in the, we had a little weight chair that would weigh the babies. And some of them hated the little weight chairs. Like they would cry and fuss. So I usually would have like mom or dad stand in front of them. And even some of the smaller kids, they did not like stepping up on the scale. So it would just depend on the child whether they would be cool with you taking their weight or they would just fuss and cry the whole time. So once we got their weight, we would pull them back to a room. We would um, sit you know the parent down and ask you know what brings you guys here to the clinic and some would be like oh he has a fever we would ask you know have you given him meds have you given the child meds for the fever um you know how long has he had the fever any associated symptoms like does he have chills is he having you know diarrhea fatigue a rash you know what's going on um, and we also asked them about allergies, you know, do they have any allergies to like penicillin or anything like that. So after we got this information, so let's say for instance, a kid came in, a child came in with like fever and a sore throat. So at this, at that time, after I got all the information from the parent, I would go ahead and do a strip test on the child. So a strip test, you know, checking the child for strip throat because that was very popular in the clinic, strip throat and flu. So, um, you know, if a kid came in with, with like um, fever, sore throat, I would automatically go ahead and do um, a strip test on them. And that's just like where you take this a long Q-tip and you have to swab the back of their throats. 
Some kids absolutely hated it. I know I had some kids who the parents had to literally hold them down. Some kids would like try to swat the Q-tip away from me. So it was very interesting. So you know, you guys know how in your peds class in nursing school, how you learn all about the different age considerations like with newborns, infants, toddlers, preschoolers, school age children, adolescents. That pretty much um, applied here in clinic. Preteens and teenagers, they did, you know, they were fine with me swabbing the back of their throat. Now, of course, preschoolers and some of the school age children did not like it at all. After I would either get like a strip or a flu test on them, you know, if their symptoms warranted it, I would go ahead and put their information in the computer. So we had like um, a charting temp like the same patient. If they came in for a fever, I would just search a fever template and the fever template would pop up. And then I would just go through the different symptoms and put yes, no. Um, we would put the weight in, the temperature in, if they had any medication allergies, if they had been taking any medication. So once we were through checking the patient in, we would um, switch their status to patient waiting to be seen by doctor so that the doctors would know that, okay, this patient is ready to be checked. So once that was done, pretty much unless they needed other procedures done, my job was done with that patient and I would go on to check the next patient back. Now just some of the extra procedures that I did have to do on um, the kids. Some kids had to get rocephin injections which is the antibiotic shot. So especially the kids who would have like recurrent ear infections or you know they would be taking antibiotics and they might have had not really been taking the antibiotics as they should have been or they might have parents might have had a tough time getting the kids to take antibiotics whatever the reason was i did a lot of rocephin shots for um recurrent ear infections um of course nebulizer treatments with albuterol for kids who had asthma sometimes we have to do ear washes so that's just where you take half peroxide half warm water and it's like a squirt bottle that squirts in the child's ear. You know, if kids needed to be, have their ears checked, but they had too much earwax. So pretty much I did that, you know, from 9 to 12. Now, so, of course, some kids didn't need any procedures. Some kids, you know, if they came in for something like a rash, of course, you know, all I really have to do is, you know, just get their weight, temperature, um, ask mom or dad, you know, associated symptoms, med allergies, you know, stuff like that. And just check them in and my job will be done. This is sick clinic. So in sick clinic, we're not doing what they do in regular clinic Monday through Friday, which is like, you know, how they give immunizations for the children at like different ages. We didn't do any of that. Um, it was just this clinic was specifically for sick children. So I'll get into like some pros and cons. So some pros of being a pediatric nurse at a clinic. I like knowing that I would be able to get off at like 12 or 1. So I was only there for literally like maybe three to four hours Saturday or Sunday, which compared to a 12 hour shift, you know, I'll definitely take that. Seeing the kids is another pro. I definitely loved you know, interacting with the children, especially those babies with those chunky fat thighs. Co-workers were great. They were extremely nice. My manager was good as well, too. This job was really a low-stress job. Like, I really don't have any complaints about working there. I don't know if I could work there Monday through Friday, though, just because I'm so used to only working like three 12 hour shifts so I don't know if the eight to five life is for me of course when I become a women's health nurse practitioner that'll be my life but I liked you know weekend clinic being able to make extra money so the cons would be that of course the um pay difference versus the hospital now on Sundays back when I was working there I was getting paid more in the clinic in the hospital but of course on Saturday I was getting paid less than the hospital but I'm 
I guess if I worked there Monday through Friday, my pay would be $20 an hour as well. So the pay cut. Um, so most of the doctors were very nice. You know, you would hope, you know, if a doctor is a pediatrician, they would be nice because they're working with kids. So most of the doctors were really nice, friendly, and personable. I think there were like two doctors there who wanted everything done fast, 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 quick, quick, quick. So just, um... The different per seeing the different personalities of the doctors just because I'm used to seeing the doctors at the hospital just for like um, maybe a quick minute you know they're around on their patients then they'll go back to the office and you know if something's going on with the patient I'll call them and you know that's pretty much it but you know at the clinic you know you're around the doctors the whole time so you know you'll get to see their personality more but like I said most of the doctors there were really sweet and really friendly and you know whenever I have children if I'm still living in Memphis I'll definitely take them you know to this clinic because a lot of the, a lot of the doctors were pretty sweet and friendly of course working weekends but like I said I was only there from three to four hours so when I got off I still had a lot of time to do you know different activities if I wanted to so it wasn't like a 12 hour shift where I get off and you know I'm completely tired some of the weekends did fall on holidays and of course we would have to work those holidays um on my last day yeah I worked New Year's Eve on my last day which wasn't bad I didn't mind overall my experience in the pediatric clinic was a good one I definitely love my job for the time that I was there and I was so thankful for the opportunity to just see how different it was working in the hospital versus the clinic my co-workers were so sweet my manager she was so sweet so I really didn't have any complaints about being a pediatric nurse so it was definitely a great experience being able to work in a different specialty and I always say you know if you have I mean if you want a second job you know as a nurse try getting it in a, another specialty if that's something you want to do just so you can see like different aspects of nursing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any other questions about me being a pediatric nurse, you can leave them down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.